You are watching the Justin TV Invitational, cast by myself, Total Biscuit. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shoutcraft right here, bringing you Atero in the red trunks. He is playing Protoss versus his opponent, Sokke. He is in the baby blue shorts trunks, I suppose. Mm, yeah, I never really know. Is that cyan? Turquoise? I, I have no idea. My knowledge of colors... Uh, oh my god, there's cats on this map! Why with the cats? Oh, God, we had GSL Crossfire with the sodding cats. There's cats on this bloody map as well. Oh, <laughs> freak me the hell out. Whatever the case, yes, this is Justin TV Cat Invitational, brought to you by Jowie G J Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it again. Q pad. Yeah, Split Reason and Zeke.com. Bloody cats. So damn distracting. Atero is currently 2 0 in his best of five series in the winner's bracket. The loser of this series will not, in fact, go out. They will go on to the loser's bracket to face Brat OK. Now, I don't like to be biased, but I have to say, I really, really hope Brat OK wins the loser's bracket. Because the last thing I want to see is Atero versus Sokke again in the finals. Because as much as I love Sokke, and I'd like to say I love Atero, but I don't know the guy. Four Gates is not exciting. I would love to say that it is, and it is my job to hype it up as much as possible, and I will do my best possible job in order to try and make that happen for you. But Four Gateway sucks. It is really, really boring. And Sokke needs to defend against it better, damn it. Uh, now, this is a rather large map, so perhaps that might give him the ability to do so, but you never know. Large rows of corn on this map. You cannot see through the corn, folks. Corn is the anathema of modern radar systems in this particular universe. As to why, nobody really knows. A little bit of a tour of this map, I think, while these guys are building some buildings, as they tend to do. See what exactly is going on. We have a expansion right here that is actually blocked off by rocks immediately, which is rather interesting. And then you've got this one right here at the back of the base, very secure, jungle basin stylish kind of thing going on right there with a small ramp. So in order to expand to your third, you're going to have to nail that down. The expansion is very distant aside from that, though. Actually noticing that. Kind of crazy. A lot of rocks blocking off pretty much every one of them, so... I don't expect this to actually go into a two-base game anyway, if it's just going to be four gateways, but hey, there you go. Did notice that Atero decided to go with a... Gateway on 12 as opposed to 13. Not that, that really makes a huge amount of a difference. Oh, there we go. Sokke breaking it out. This is what we call the Artosis approach, which is the anti four gate build. However, it has been scouted. I have to wonder if Atero is going to be able to deal with that. This is a three stalker push, usually. Three stalker push using two gateways, if I remember correctly. Sokke now with a third gateway. There we go. So, a little bit of diversity going on right there. And usually it would involve pushing forward with stalkers if I recall correctly. Three stalkers in order to repulse it back. But it doesn't look like he's actually gone for that at all. A little bit of variety going on right there. Three gateways already coming up for Atero, so the four gate is on its way. The counter for Sokke is, well, not looking particularly strong right now, but the stalkers are on their way, so it is a possibility. This is perhaps a... Yeah, this looks like it's a variation on that build that Artosis showed us by getting out those stalkers really early to repulse it. That's now been scouted by him. He actually has a Zealot on the field now as well. Down comes that. Will the stalkers be available in time? Sokka's going to have to go. The double Chrono Boost right there. There you go. That is what it is. This is a variation on this build as far as I can tell. It might even do the job. Take that out, and he needs to be able to push back. He should be able to deal with this pylon rapidly. If he can kill the pylon quick enough, the warping might not happen. If it does, unfortunately, that might be slightly too late by there. Here we go. The sniper action coming on right here with Sokke. Shields down on the pylon. Unfortunately, he is taking a lot of harassment. He can go in there, though. And uh, there you go. I think he's going to lose that as a direct result of it. Unfortunately, I don't think he did that right. And Atero now with the units on the field. And I don't see Sokke being able to defend against that. It was a nice attempt, but he should have really dedicated to just blowing it up. Lose a few stalkers, it doesn't matter. Just blow the damn thing up. Don't know why he pulled back there. I mean, two stalkers in a zealot versus three stalkers is a foregone conclusion in favor of Sokke. So I think now he's probably lost this as a direct result of that. But you never know. You never know. It is a quite a tight ramp, so he might be able to delay it with sentry placement. But I'm still very concerned about the amount of pressure that his button's going to be able to put in. He's now very late on that fourth gateway. So there you go. Actually expanding right now. Maybe the sentry might be able to help him hold the line. There's the split and a nice play there by Sokke. Nicely done. Takes out those three zealots for free by the looks of it. Great micromanagement by Sokke as well. He loses absolutely nothing in the process. Excellent. 
Great done. Great, great play with there with the sentry. You never know. He might still be in this one, but I am not convinced right now. We'll have to see because the stalker is firmly, firmly in the favor of a terror right here. Additional warpins come in. Good micromanagement by Sokka. Good defense coming in right here. An additional sentry might be able to get another split on right there. There's the force field again. Takes a zealot for free. Good defense right here. Very strong defense right here. It might just may be able to stop the full gateway, but I'm not convinced. We never know. We never know. Sokke playing extremely well right here. Another Stalker coming in. Doesn't really have the gas to go uh, with any more of those right now. There you go. Straight into the line he goes. And Atero getting really aggressive. Sokke getting crushed again, I'm afraid. Yeah. It was a brave attempt to defend it, but I really don't think it's going to happen. Pulls the probes off the mineral line. Will he get enough warp ins? No, he really will not right now. He nails down one and nails down two, though. There you go. He pushes it again. Oh, again. That's great defense here. Sokke with the expansion, though. And that is very confusing. If he can hold the line and actually get the economic advantage over his opponent. I mean, Atero's four gate is sort of starting to fizzle out right now. You cannot support four Chrono Booster gateways on one base. You just cannot do it. So what's happening here is Atero is not able to reinforce as rapidly and Sokke is able to replenish his numbers. And then again, he's got another sentry up. Sokke with an interesting defense against the four gateway right here that might even work. He's got the Harvester advantage. A great split again. Great timing right there. Sokke coming up with a defense against the four gate that you never know. It might do the job. Transitions through from that three stalker approach into something a little bit different. Atero can't get a leg in there. Now his unit count is looking very good. I mean, Atero's unit count is exceptional. But there is good defense coming in from Sokke once again. He does have another sentry. Again with a great split. Look at that. Atero getting caught out of position over and over and over again. We see Sokke's efficiency coming into play right here. Double sentry placement. Make sure that there's nothing's going to be happening there at all. Units lost for Atero. Not looking good for him at all. Sokke playing to his strengths right here. And now his harvest account looking really strong. Atero's four gateway is starting to fizzle out. Oh, this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Sokke back in the fight right here. Thanks to some amazing defense. Mostly zealot heavy. Backed up by sentries. He does have it. He keeps with this... Gets on with this excellent split between those two forces. Splits them down perfectly. Eliminates them with bare minimal losses. Sokke is known for that mighty German efficiency. And he is demonstrating it right here. Atero with a sentry of his own deployed right here. Because he just doesn't have the money to deploy anything else, really. He is draining. Look at that. He is draining badly here. Twilight Council is on its way. For both, in fact. No re research as of yet. Resource. What the hell am I talking about? Double blink. And however, the economic advantage firmly in the hands of Sokke. Sokke could get in with a counter-attack right here. Great defense there. Innovative defense. Something a little bit different. Something unusual. Atero not expecting that. You know, I thought he was doomed, honestly. I really did. And I'm now guilty of calling that prematurely. I really did think he was going to go down. Because he failed with that three stalker push to try and eliminate the pylon. Atero continues with the four gateway pressure, but he has no signs of expanding right now. A forge coming up for Sokke as well. Cannons could get into the mix. And of course, a few upgrades. Another gateway coming up. Five gateways as a result of having that expansion. He can support it and he'll be able to counterattack and he could win this one as a direct result of that. Atero sitting outside his base there, however, with a potent force. Sokke does have the numbers that he needs, though. An additional warp in. I'd be very surprised not to see Sokke push immediately. Blink for both. Micromanagement will be the decider here. In goes the Guardian Shield a little bit early right there. We're looking for the split. Plenty of... And there's the blink. How much splitting can be done when the blink is on the field? Not all that much. Here comes the focus fire right here from the side by Sokke. Sokke is winning this encounter, honestly. Losing a lot of zealots, but he does have the range firepower. A great divide right there. In he goes once again. Sokke zealots getting a massacre, but it doesn't matter. Because Sokke now has the upper hand in terms of the stalker count. And Taro driven away. Oh, wow. Sokke is prosecuting this one, and it was a very interesting approach to go for that expansion. Perhaps only works on a map like this. Indeed, it does on any map that has a back safe expansion. And he's taking advantage of it. The pilot is now down, and here comes the pressure. Now, if you look at the uh, Harvest account right here, Atero is well behind, and he's really getting mined out over here. That is very threatening indeed. Sokke looking for a counterattack. He does have the gateway option, and we do see an expansion going down for Atero. That is way too late. I can see Sokke taking this one if he's able to do it well. There's the blink, and a good snipe off there by Atero. Once again, looking for the deployment. A little bit of sniping on the back as he blinks into that. Unfortunately, gets caught out of position. Shields down on that one, but no. Oh, snipe off right there. Atero, great blink play once again. Will that deployment go down? It will not. 
not. Atero's not going to like that. Haven't had Blinken fake out right there into the lines. And Sokke with a massive unit advantage. Oh, yes. This is heating up right here, folks. Absolutely. It's exciting stuff. Pylon going down. Atero in a lot of trouble. That four gateway approach did not pay off with Sokke's innovative defense. Great stuff. Breaking out the sentries. Well played there. Taking advantage of the map. And in he goes. Guardian shield up right here. A massive advantage in terms of Sokke's forces. 21 stalkers versus 10. This is a foregone conclusion. He goes in once again. Everything will die. Atero will not be able to hold up against this one. Great micro management though. Once again, blinks away from the damage. Taking it. But the efficiency of Sokke proving to be way more than Atero can handle. G. G. Ladies and gentlemen. And Sokke comes back with a riotous and wonderful defense against that four gateway strategy of Atero. And Atero left licking his wounds and thinking just what the hell was I supposed to do there?